my name is Jackie Oates and I'm an English folk singer and recording artist and I wanted to tell you about how I designed and produced my environmentally friendly CDs and I'm going to demonstrate how I put them together as well. So back in January this year, before this crazy time happened, I had a day and a half to spare and I went into a studio with John Spires and we decided to record some tracks that we'd been working on. We didn't really have a plan for what we were going to do with them. On the journey home, we chatted a bit and we realised that it would be a great idea to turn them into some sort of um, limited edition CD that people could buy at our gigs. And specifically, we wanted to make something beautiful and handmade mm. and environmentally friendly um, just for the love of owning an object rather than just downloading it. So that's where the idea came from. Um, I was hugely inspired by Christina Alden of Alden Patterson Dashwood, and she was able to help me to find out where to go to bring all the elements together. So quite a lot was involved in um, sourcing the individual bits and pieces. The first thing I did was that I had the album tracks mastered and I did this to the highest quality that I could because I didn't want the quality of the music to suffer in any way. And I sourced an online company, a local company that could um, burn me off some CDs and I had to very quickly learn how to put the illustrations on them. Um, a friend helped me with this, so this is the CD and these came on spindles. Um, I then designed this little booklet. Again, I wanted the CD to have as much information packed into it as I could. So I've just put this all together myself and laid it out like this. So this is an eight page booklet made on recycled paper. The image itself comes from a old fashioned Swiss book of children's songs. And I've just uh, done a little sketch and one of the pictures. So that's the booklet. The hardest bit for me, I decided to stamp the images on the CD cover myself. And there are all these companies in the UK that make handmade designed rubber stamps. And all you have to do is go on the website and upload an image and they can turn things around very quickly. So within two days of uploading an image, I had these stamps delivered and these are lovely, they're wooden and this is the front cover and the back cover here. So to stamp with them you need the biggest ink pad that you can get and you also need some embosser so that the, the cardboard absorbs all the ink and it looks good. So those are my elements, the final one, I order these cardboard sleeves myself and um, they come like this and there's a little pouch for the this bit and a pouch for that bit so every time I get an order of a CD I just make a CD up ready and I go and I post it so I'll just quickly put one together and this has actually worked out really well uh, in light of the current circumstances because there's lots of people out there who want to support musicians who can't tour anymore or do gigs and it's just really nice to be able to keep playing music and keep the music alive so I've put my CD together like this I'll just stand up for this bit hope you can still see me so I'm going to press quite hard on the ink the ink runs out after about 100 copies of the CD. And I'm just putting the embosser on like this. I'm going to press it down. I have to press a bit. One side. And these are the track listings. This all takes about 30 seconds, really. Oh, and there you go. 
front cover, back cover, CD and sleeve. And what I then do is you can get these cardboard envelopes from various places and I post them like this. I'm not going to fold it because I haven't signed it yet and that's how it's all made. So I hope that inspires you to think about hand designing your own merchandise. Thank you. Mm -hmm.